We first told you about the list of witnesses prosecutors expect to call to the stand in Peter Kemmer's murder trial. Kemmer's attorney has his own list, and it's a longer one. The prosecutor's list of witnesses includes more than 50 names. The defense has over 77. Kemmer is accused of killing his son, Peter Boy Kemmer Jr., who disappeared 20 years ago when he was six years old. Bridget Namada follows up. Bridget? Joe, Peter Kemmer Sr. is represented by a court-appointed private attorney, Stanton Oshiro. I called the attorney's office today to ask about this long list of witnesses. I'm not expecting to get a call back. Are you responsible for your son being missing, or did you kill your son? Um, I did not kill my son. As far as I know, No, I did not kill him. That was the answer Peter Kemmer Sr. gave KHON 19 years ago. It's the answer he's sticking to today. Kemmer's trial is less than one month away. His attorney has filed a witness list with at least 25 more names than the prosecutor's list. It includes 10 Hawaii County police officers. I called the department and learned six of the officers are still working. Four have retired. There are seven doctors on the list, two from Hilo Medical Center. Witnesses are key to a case that relies heavily on circumstantial evidence. Peter Boy's body has never been found. I wanted to ask the public to find my son. This interview with Kema and his wife Jalen could be used as evidence in the trial. During the nearly 20-minute interview from 1998, Jalen mostly wiped away tears. Both insisted their son was last seen with an Auntie Rose Makuakane on Oahu, who Peter described as a mother figure. So does she exist? Yes, she does. Mrs. Kim, have, have, uh, have you met Auntie Rose in the past? Uh, I just want to plead to the public that if anybody has seen Auntie Rose, or this woman named Auntie Rose or Peter Jr., to at least call the nearest police station or the nearest DHS office. That auntie has never been found. Jalen will now testify against her husband. Jalen was initially charged with murder for her son's death, but accepted a plea deal for a lesser charge. Prosecutors will try to prove Peter Boy died of septic shock, often caused by a severe infection that can be fatal if not treated. Bridget Namata, KHO 2 News.